As we all know that almost every popular book and movie or song has a slant about finding the love of your life. However, for us as Christians, finding the love of our lives is more than just courtship and wedding. Yes, that's right because what happens is that we make a covenant between God and ourselves to be bound to each other for life. Therefore, this video on how to find your first love is significant and worth watching. Number 1. Find God First Find God First The Word of God in Colossians 3 verse 2 says, Set your minds on things above not on earthly things. What does this mean? It means that before getting all geared up and finding your earthly love, find your heavenly love first. The Bible says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son to die for you so that every single person on the earth can have eternal life. When you have found God, you will find in him everything you need for the rest of your life. Yes, he will supply all your needs according to the riches of his glory. Be it marriage, children, work, empty nest, retirement, etc. This is because every good and perfect gift comes from him. So for you to find the right person for your life, you need to find God first. The Bible says in Proverbs 3 verse 6, it says in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. The second thing you need to do is to be faithful to your first love. After finding God first, you need to also be faithful to him. In the first point I mentioned, I said you should find God first. God is love and he is our first love. In Revelation to verse 4, the Bible says, Yet I hold this against you. You have forsaken the love you had at first. So why is this very important? It is because there's a great temptation that once you've opened up to finding a true love, you will forget your first love in Christ. This happens a lot of time and it is because we are human and fallible to our faults of wanting our emotional and physical needs met first. However, the Lord is on your side and if you would place your complete trust demonstrated by your faithfulness in Him, He will meet all your needs. Did you hear that? He will meet all your needs if you put your complete trust in Him. The scripture says those who put their trust in Him will not be disappointed in all their expectations. So be faithful to God in everything and then you will see Him work things out for your good. He will give you the best and send you a partner after His heart. Number 3. Stay grounded in Bible study and fellowship with other believers. In Hebrews 10 verses 24 and 25, the Bible says, And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. Some people stop going to church or small group when they've started a new relationship. Again, it's the temptation of being enamored in a relationship. However, it's God's will that you continue in your friendships and ministry relationships as you will need advice and accountability in your new relationship. The Bible also says, Do not despise the gathering of the brethren. Number 4. Look for opportunities to use your spiritual gifts. Proverbs 18 verse 16 says, A gift opens the way and ushers the giver into the presence of the great. Many believers have found the love of their life while they were busy about Christ and building the kingdom of God. Being involved in ministry that allows you to use your spiritual gift opens the way for you to possibly meet someone who can work alongside of you. Couples who complement each other with their spiritual gifts are a beautiful asset to the work of God. This is very important because when you give yourself to the service of God, He will give you someone that will help you grow more. Number 5. Number 5. Resist the worldly standards of true love. 1 John to verse 15 says, Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. Many believers have tainted their Christian love relationships with advice, influence, and direction from the world. Believers don't have to live together first to make sure it will work out nor do they have to be involved in sexual immorality. The Lord knows your needs including the longing for companionship. Take your concerns directly to Jesus in prayer and trust him to work it out for your good. Number 6. You need to guard your hearts and minds from inner and outer pressure. Proverbs 4 verse 23 says, Above all else guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. 
At what age should a person marry? How long do you pray for a spouse? When do I give up? These are questions that can burn within you or be pushed on you from well-meaning family and friends. However, what is most important is to be still before God and know that he has your whole life in the palm of his hands. I want you to resist the urge to worry and continue about your father's business through prayer and Bible study because God can never mislead you. Number 7. Be open to God's best choice for you. Look at what the Bible says in 1 Samuel 16 verse 7. It says, But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not consider his appearance or his height for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance. But the Lord looks at the heart. The most popular singers, actors and musicians are usually physically attractive. The world places a high standard on the outside appearance even if the person is woefully inept in drying character and morality. However, for the believing man or woman, your choice is to let God lead you to the right person for you. Attraction is normal. You do want to be attracted to the love of your life yet you don't want the physical attraction to take precedence over the spiritual or emotional characteristics. The Bible says in Matthew 7 verse 7, Ask and it shall be given unto you. Knock and it shall be opened. Seek and you will find. Finding the love of your life is like finding other things so you need to be open to it. Reluctantly getting involved with someone may be a sign that God isn't calling you into a relationship right now. However, if you find the longing in your heart, be open to the preparation that God will lead you to the right person. Stay true to your first love, and he will guide you in the right direction in Jesus' name. Amen.